Hey, what's up, guys? We're continuing here on The Walking Dead episode two. Let's see what's going on. If you don't, if you don't like the series and the playthrough, guys, please close the video now. Let's see what this guy has to say. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Bastard. Poor girl's brain tan. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Yeah, right. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bureau. I'm good. How are you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Yeah, whatever. This kid is really dumb though. I don't even know what to do right now. I mean, what to do? Like, oh, let's talk. Oh, yeah. Let's talk, let's talk to that bitch over here. What's up, girl? You're ugly. What? Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. What? Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. <laughs> bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Back in anyway, the okay. Okay, Lee. Come on, man. Everyone remembers whatever, whatever I fucking say. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Oh my god, they killed Kenny. My PC just died. Uh, need any help, bro? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. I what I'm doing. <laughs> At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. So, so what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. 
Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial on the boat. fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Okay, there's no one to talk now. Can I can I go in here? No, I can't. Oh, that's that's Herschel over there. He he wasn't there before. Like, I don't know why. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. <laughs> Lol. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. Timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now yeah, you've got right. this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, Keep it to your damn self. Herschel is being a douchebag to in to the a game too. Advice. What? Go! I'll get my gun. What the fuck? Look at this douchebag. Look at this fucking douchebag. He just left. <laughs> oh shit. Stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. 
Ah, no, so. Now he's gonna become a zombie. And Herschel will have to kill him. You mad, bro? Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out! And never come back. You got that ride to make it if you want it. Let's get that girl and go to make and shit. Bad idea to go in a city, bro. In a zombie apocalypse. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. At least at this part, like uh, the protagonist Lee hasn't fell like 20 times. I don't know why. But in the first like 20 minutes of the game, he fell for like 10 times in a row in 10 minutes. Epic record. <laughs> Zombies and shit. Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Good idea, man, to run around, to, to shout around zombies. Random chicken, random dude popped out from anywhere, from nowhere. What's up? What? And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. What the fuck, my... I don't know, the game has some problems on my PC dying. Wait, wait a second, guys. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole. Where that's the fuck sure. Clementine that's is what going? It takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Where the when fuck I Clementine dig went? We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. 
it, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! Yeah, no what the kidding. hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. What the fuck it's is Clementine? What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that board! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Jesus! There you go, he just fell again. You old fucking shit. Are you serious, bro? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Whoa. Spam too! Spam! What the fuck? There we go. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just yeah. great, thanks. Why the graphics on the zombie are shitty? The game bugged out. Guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Wow. Why don't they kill the... I don't know. They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh. Epic heart attack. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Yeah, yeah. Uh I don't know. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. 
It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. Who the fuck is all that people? I like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Like a boss. What was supposed to energy bar? Give me that. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Another energy bar, yeah. Well, that's that's probably useful. So, yeah, I got two now. Yeah, buddy. Another energy bar. Let's do this. Give me all the energy bars, bro. What's that? Another energy bar. Yeah, buddy. Someone will ask for them. I think that's not the. We only. can't let anything happen to Ducky. Ask for them. It's all melted now. Indeed. Haley, really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Oh, yeah, like they are alive and shit. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Let's go, bro. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. She's a philosopher, yes. man. <laughs> console, what console? What? Try to let it go. Xbox or PS3? <laughs> This episode has been a little bit slow, but yeah, what you can, what, what can you do, we bro? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Take a bar. Dentist. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I yes. Don't remember them very well. Whoa. She doesn't even remember his family. How long haven't haven't seen them? Haven't seen them. I don't know. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. 
Uh, I don't know, bro. No, not uh, now, bro. Not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. He's a fucking engineer too. Obviously, it's not working and shit. Okay, let's turn it over. I mean, I'm a fucking electronics engineer, so I know what to do, right? So let's open up the antenna. Obviously, and let's see if it has batteries. Well, there are no batteries in this thing. What now? Fucking dumb bitch. Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I gotta find some. Fail. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> Fucking women, man. <laughs> Fail. Central High takes. Yeah, I saw that. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. go. Let's like get the fuck out of here. Can we get in here? Nope. Let's talk with Clementine and see what she has to sell. Hey there. Hi. Hey there. Uh, Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? The Chinese guy. I think so. Korea, no, no. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? A bar? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Get a bar, bro. I'll see about that. So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh. I'm good. That's good. Yeah. I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. <laughs> what the fuck is he yep. talking about? Well, sit tight. Take a bar. Okay. Take an energy bar. Where are you? Yeah, there you it's go. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. That's what I do, bro. I take care of people. It's not much, but here. Take it. Take you a sure? bar too. Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. You want a master in the drink? Really what? Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Sure, bro. Uh, I'm gonna it. get back to him now. Yeah, don't worry. Let's see what's in behind, over here. First aid, give me that. Give me that first aid, bro. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Really? First aid kit. Whoa. What's that? A ha uh, what's that? A what's that? A cane or a hammer? This was my dad's cane. Oh, cane! Yeah. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool, like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Let's examine the desk. Better get this door clear, huh? 
Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Uh... Okay, here we go. I don't know. Mm. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. No, it's a good job. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing, things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You or sell a wig? Alright, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? <laughs> uh... Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Lord, are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to take the bandage from here. Um, that was it for this episode, guys. I hope you liked it. We had some technical issues, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. As always, have a nice day. I'm out.